Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? If you're new here, my name is Danny Christine. I am a multi-site childcare business owner and a consultant and a digital content creator on childcaresites.com where you can find resources for childcare professionals such as yourself, whether you are just getting started in the industry, thinking about breaking into it, or if you own multiple center-based locations like I do, there are many different things that you can take advantage of on childcare sites.com such as free webinars that you can watch the replays for that feature experts within the childcare industry podcast episodes that you can listen to where I talk about my experiences operating my centers with my company's operations manager and you can even get access to courses where you will learn my inside tips and tricks to be successful launching your own childcare business. So head on over to childcaresites.com to take advantage of any of those things if they interest you. This video in particular is going to be about all things related to child care stabilization grants within the United States. They are finally here. For some of you guys, they've been around for such a long time. But if you don't know, my child care businesses are located in the state of New York. And New York finally released their application for child care programs to apply for the stabilization grant that was brought on by the American Rescue Plan or the ARP last year i believe so it has been a while i want to say for me at least nine or ten months that i've been hearing that money is coming to new york and i haven't seen it i honestly lost hope a while ago and i was pleasantly surprised within the last week that it's actually here and you know what it hasn't hit our bank account just yet because it was just the application process but i'm pleasantly surprised by what we're supposed to expect to hit our bank account in just a few weeks now i want to make sure that i'm giving you the correct and accurate information so you're going to see me looking off to my computer a couple times throughout this video to read what i would like to share and want you to know about and i'll link it below so you can read it for yourself but just giving that warning so the american rescue plan act of 2021 was signed on march 11th 2021 that includes 23.97 billion for child care stabilization grants to be allocated to states territories and tribes based on the current child care and development block grant formula the goal of the child care stabilization grants is to provide financial relief to child care providers to help defray unexpected business costs associated with the pandemic and to help stabilize their operations so that they may continue to provide care. The reason that this is super important and such an actual relief for hundreds of thousands of providers across the country is because when COVID first came to the U.S. back in March of 2020, many programs were forced to close their doors by their state or local territory, either because there was an exposure or just in order to prevent further exposure and spread of the virus, or programs voluntarily chose to close because they wanted to help in stopping the spread or didn't feel safe for whatever reason they chose to close. And when that first happened back in March of 2020, many providers did not expect, I would argue and say all, <laughs> or most, most providers probably didn't expect that they would be closed for more than two weeks, more than a month, more than two months. It became such a financial burden for programs that did not have the financial systems put in place or a reserves fund or place to access money really to pay the bills that were still ongoing regardless of whether or not their children were attending their programs or if they were closed or open. If you wanted to ever reopen, you would still need to pay your rent at that time in order to do so if you didn't have some sort of agreement with your landlord or if your state or area didn't have some sort of 
protection for you if the pandemic was affecting you financially. So because many programs decided to close or had to close for what they thought was temporary and only going to be a few weeks with the pandemic lasting as long as it has because it is still going on but with it lasting as long as it did they couldn't reopen by the time they were able to or their state or area allowed them to reopen they didn't have the employees anymore they didn't have the children anymore because those families needed care at the time that they needed care maybe they stayed home for a couple of weeks and then when it was time to go back to work for them their childcare program wasn't open and i can speak on this because the way that we actually expanded into our second location was because they closed down in march of 2020 the owner of the program owns the building and was not really interested so much in the operations of the business so he had a director running it and really was not involved at all um, in the way that the business was operating and because of that nothing was put into place to ensure that staff would come back students would come back the staff that was there decided that they were going to close they closed down and really did not communicate well with the families it was supposed to be temporary but by the time that i found the property and the opportunity was um, in june of 2020 three months later after they closed and the owner who is now my landlord and i talk about this whole situation in the video that i put out last year which i will link within this video and also in the description if you're watching from a mobile device but the owner really didn't have a plan it seemed in order to get the staff and the children back they all went on unemployment and the families went off to either find other care or nannies or someone to stay home with the kids and some even went on to other programs so when we came around asking if we could use this space and rent it out essentially the owner of the program who is now again our landlord was more than happy to release himself from the opportunity but everybody's story isn't that great he got a tenant out of it and he got to get out of the headache that is or was the childcare business in his mind. So he is still benefiting from the situation, but some providers own their own property and want to continue operating their business. Some providers may not own their own property, couldn't afford to continue paying rent and were kicked out of their program or had to get out of their lease because of the instability within the industry itself. Some counties or some states, I should say, decided to force childcare programs to close to prevent the spread, but then helped certain providers out that had children with subsidies to continue to be paid the subsidy or up to a certain amount per child. That's great. New York State did not do that. <laughs> Definitely not at first. We began getting payments for absences, I want to say six, seven, or eight months into the pandemic happening. But in the beginning, we were on our own. If kids didn't show up and we had children on subsidies, we weren't paid for them. If we didn't have some sort of payment arrangement in place with parents, which was hard to do and to justify if everybody was struggling financially. And in places across the country where families did not have subsidies and were paying privately and may have lost their jobs or were just uncertain about their own home financial stability, why would they continue to pay their childcare? And some did, some did the right thing and had the funds available to do so, and that's great, but many did not. So what we have noticed over the past year is childcare businesses closing down left and right. So this American Rescue Plan that includes childcare stabilization is a big sign of relief because it's, I want to say, historically the most amount of money that has ever been invested into the childcare industry. And it forces the country to admit to the fact that childcare is essential and something worth investing 
investing in because if people do not have childcare, people cannot go to work. If you're unaware, my childcare businesses are in the state of New York, and I remember when the stabilization grants first started rolling out in other states because I think New York was a little late to the party. I was extremely shocked by the amount of money that I saw other programs in other places getting. I could not believe that this was just free money guaranteed for those providers. And in New York, we've gotten nothing to this point. I will say that in my county, at least in New York, where my programs are located, our regional manager has been doing a great job at keeping us informed of what's coming, how to prepare for for it, what the new regulations and guidance documents are, and like just communication has been excellent. But when it comes to the financial relief that these other states were getting, where was it? <laughs> but as of last week, it was finally announced in the state of New York that relief is coming for all childcare programs that are licensed or legally exempt across all modalities, across the whole state, and I couldn't be more happy. Last year, programs within the state of New York did get access to money from the state for PPE and different resources and tools to keep their businesses open, but the money was a small amount and it was very difficult to access because you had to go through a lot of paperwork. You had to provide receipts and proof of this and proof of that, and then you had to spend the money first and then get reimbursed. And some people were not reimbursed for a good nearly a year if i'm not mistaken i personally did not go through that application process from last year because it was so time consuming and was honestly not worth my time for the amount of money that was going to come and we were fortunate enough to get access to the ppp and the eidl which i did talk about in previous videos that i will link within this video um but that was not gonna take up my time when I was worried about how we're actually operating safely. So something like this, these stabilization grants where it's a quick couple of questions, here's the amount of money you're gonna get, it's there for you and not based on first come first serve, it's not gonna run out, it is allocated to every licensed and legally exempt program as long as you say you want the money and your license is in good standing and you're open. If you are a family child care provider, meaning that you provide care for children within your home, you have probably heard of Tom Copeland. I know he is very popular within the home daycare community because he talks a lot about finances and taxes and things that businesses need to know about. I believe he makes it easier to understand for people that run childcare businesses out of their home that might not really be too familiar with good business practices. He has been on top of informing his community of family childcare providers about stabilization grants across the United States. I will link that page on his blog down below as well. If you do not have a home daycare but you have centers like I do, this blog post was actually very helpful for me because along with the information that he puts out there for family child care businesses, it's to their local state's website that has the grant information for all modalities of care. So home daycares, group programs, and center-based or school age, all of that is included on the state website. And his blog actually kind of makes it easier for you to see all of that in one place so check it out in the description below so that you can look into what's available for you in your state and your area 
and let me know in the comments below if you were surprised by the amount of money that your program will receive or has received from the state and what you do with it. I am so excited for the money that's coming so that we can give back to our teachers. To be quite honest with you, back in the spring of 2020, we actually gave out hazard pay to our staff that were working on site within the building because we knew that they were putting themselves at risk. They were choosing to come into work every day and we were so grateful for them. And we also had the resources to do so because we got the PPP. So we were able to do that for for a few months until the PPP money ran out. And now that the stabilization grants are coming, I'm excited to possibly give our staff like an added bonus. I haven't figured out how exactly we're going to do it just yet, but um, that's number one what I'm excited for. And I'm also excited to put that money towards improving the furnitures and supplies within the building themselves. It's just really coming at a great time. But if you're not aware or you haven't been keeping up or this is the first video that you're seeing me in, I am opening a third center-based location. We've been working on it for about two months now and I have so many updates every so often on my instagram page so if you're not following me on instagram please do so my instagram is at danny christine consulting and i will link that in the description of this video as well i've also been keeping my youtube subscribers updated with the progress in the work being done in the building itself on this youtube channel and at last week i released a video showing a walkthrough tour of the empty center so if you haven't seen it please go over to my last video and check that out and let me know what you think we have paint in there now it is painted it's we're putting down the floors it's going from tile on the ground to hard wood throughout the whole building the colors are nice and bright and i cannot wait to take you on a updated tour which will probably be posted if not next week the week after because by that time at the very least all of the walls and floors should be done if you're interested in anything else related to how to start up a childcare business or anything discussed within this video let me know what your questions are in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video bye